Okay, one of the things I did with the hat is I was going around the outside offline here and um, just bring it, bringing it in a little bit on the bottom base part of the hat because we have to put that little uh, that little band around there with the buckle on there, the black band. And the other thing is I measured it here and I measured it over here and it's a little bit off so I'm trying to bring this down a little bit further in the back to get it in better shape here. All right. The other thing we're going to do is we're just going to round it off a little bit here on the sides that it looks like it's um, draping over a little bit. All right. It's a little bit of a curvature from the top of the hat. I was looking at some pictures and that's what it it had. So let's just do that. Just on the top, on the sides here. See it's giving it a little bit of an oval shape. Alright. That gives it a little bit of a uh, different feel to it. Alright, so it's coming down a little bit. It's a little wider up here and we're, um, we're still digging out a little bit around the base. And I think if we make that a little thinner it will look a little bit better. So we're just going to keep going around the whole base and work our way inward. and then cut it out. We'll worry about cleaning it up a little bit later. We're just getting it shaped around. Okay. And yeah, I think you can see it coming. That is what I wanted to, it to do. It to be tapered smaller at the base of the hat, wider at the very top of the hat. That's exactly what we're doing here. So. Alright, the other thing we're going to do is we're going to bring this down a little bit too, underneath the brim. And we're going to just dig that out a little bit further. Alright. And we're going to round this off a little bit. And actually we're going to round off these, these tips a little bit as well. Okay. Get rid of that point. There we go. That's good. It'll be a little easier to get in there without worrying about hitting that thing all the time. And again, we're going to come on this side. We're going to dig it out a little bit. And this is where your deep cuts come in handy because you only have so much room, okay, with this block. So you're going to give it the illusion it's deeper than what it really is. So uh, that's really all the only thing we want to achieve. We're going to take all this rough stuff off. We're going to do something different with the hat here in a second here. Um, we're going to go up here on the back side and we're going to start cutting way under here, underneath here because this is going to be rounded off as well. And it's way too much there in the back versus the front. So we're going to cut some of that off. And we have a reference point there so we're just going to keep digging underneath there and digging this out a little bit. Okay. This is the back side anyway, so it's not going to be a lot of carving, you know, where he sits and all that. We're going to put his feet in here before her, or his his um, sh his shoes. got to put his ears in yet. Well, we can do that yet after a little bit. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to trim this off like we do with all the other stuff. Take all the rough marks off. Now, actually, what we're going to do is we're just going to trim that down. Okay, good. Bring this all down. Take that hard edge off of there. And kind of just redefine that line. All 
Alright, same here. We're going to just bring this down and around. We're just going to trim this off. And we're going to bring this up. Okay. Now, I'm looking at this thinking what else can I do with the hat. So the brim is going to come down a little bit further here. Uh, I thin it up a little bit more. So what I do is from the top, and I'm going to bring that down a little more. Again, I'm going to go to the sides and see if I can taper that off a little bit better. All the way around. So you got the idea with that. All right. You could leave the hat flat if you want and just taper it this way. Uh, it would be easier but if you want those little wings on either side to give it just a little added um, dimension to it. It doesn't take a lot to make it look a little bit different than an Amish guy. All right. Now you're seeing it tapered there. Let's see if we can get it a little bit more tapered in the back here. Alright. Now, my hat's pretty well where I want it to be for now. I might try to taper some more off offline just to save some time. But we have his face pretty well done. Now the eyeballs have to go in yet, and that's pretty simple. It's just a matter of doing a stop cut. The hard part is making them match. That's the hard part. Let me do this here. That needs to be swept out a little bit there at the corner. Alright, good. Um All right, now, uh, before we do the eyes, I'm going to come down here and start on the feet. So what I'm going to do is um, I have it marked. Let's do it this way. Mark this way. So I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to make the first notch at the corner here where the arms are going to come down. Now, I haven't decided how to do the pot of gold yet, but we're going to put a little pot of gold in the front. But we first have to bring out the feet. The feet's probably the most important aspect, bottom part of his soles. And you don't have to dig out a lot for this, just enough that the feet stick out a little ways. We'll do the same thing over here. Now here again we're going to do our initial notch for where the arm comes down. Okay, it's really simple. And then bring this down 